G'day, Glav here and welcome back. Please remember, if you like these videos, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. On this motorcycle tour to the central east Thailand, we do about 1,300 kilometres and take in the Kneeling Elephant Temple, which is on the Thai-Cambodian border, Phanom Rung Khmer Temple, which is just awesome, the Elephant Study Centre near Surin, Study Centre My Asked, tourist destination, yes, and the Phanom Sphai Forest Park, which is also just awesome. <laughs> You gotta be careful and watch for the monkeys crossing the road. The Kneeling Elephant, Prayer Vahir Temple, apologies up front for the poor pronunciation, is an ancient Hindu temple built during the peer period of the Khmer Empire. It's situated atop 525 metre cliff in the Dundrek Mountains. Thailand and Cambodia have lost many shot soldiers fighting over this temple. Both today, Thai and Cambo Cambodian soldiers are present at the temple but I understand it's only accessible from Thailand, which is where we entered from. It's situated right smack bang on the border. The temple itself, from what I can see, is still in Thailand, but just a few metres walk away and you're in Cambodia. Check out my mate standing on the border. Phanom Rung, or the full name Prasatin Phanom Rung, is a Hindu Khmer temple complex set on the rim of an extinct volcano at 402 metres elevation. It's located in the Buriram province in the Isan region of Thailand and was built at a time when Khmer social political influences were significant in Sishkaket. Phanom Rung is probably the most impressive and significant of the Khmer temples that can be found in Thailand today. It was constructed in Angkor style 
during the 10th to the 13th century as an Hindu temple dedicated to Shaiva. The Elephant Study Centre is located about an hour's drive from Sarin or just over an hour's ride from Buriram. The ride's pleasant enough and takes you through typical Isan countryside, rice fields, sugarcane and rubber plantations. We went to this place as the name suggested very interesting things. I love elephants but thought this attraction was sad. To our the elephants doing tricks like dancing, playing football, painting was purely a tourist trap thing. Really didn't seem like a study centre, but more of a circus. The ties tell me the elephants are happy there as they're not working. Hmm, I doubt it. If you do go there, the entrance fee is 100 baht for foreigners and about 50 baht for ties. Interesting enough, on the day we were the only Westerners there and the rest were ties. Phanam Sawai Forest Park comprises a mountain with three peaks. The first peak, Yot Khao Chai, is 210 metres high. Yot Khao Chai, where a temple called Wat Phanam Sawai is situated, is accessible by stairs, many stairs, mind you. It houses a Buddha image called Pra Sun Thara Mong Hong and is shaded by lush forests containing a large pond. The second peak, Yot Khao Ying is home to a medium sized Buddha image. The third peak, Yot Khao Kok, is home to an octagonal pavilion built by Sarin's Buddhist Association to mark the 200th anniversary of the founding of Bangkok. The pavilion houses a Buddha footprint relocated from Yot Khao Chai. Sarin Buddhists consider travel to the peaks a pilgrimage. The forest park is 22 kilometres from Sarin City and just over an hour's ride from Buriram.
Hope you enjoyed this latest Glav World video and please remember, live life today.